Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising, a, a weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week. And uh, just bear with me a second guys to shuffle the cards and uh, we are gonna jump right uh, into it. Alright, so the first card which uh, you have, that is to be the uh, Ace of Wands, followed by the Two of Swords. <laughs> Moving next, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, and uh, the last one, that is to be the Queen of Swords. Oh my! Um, so, Gemini, it does look like that... Uh, how do you say it? In uh, How do I express myself best now? Uh, it's when you do have, uh, you are working over something uh, or you have certain enterprise, you know, and it's, you think that it is something average, but throughout the week itself, you are also, you are to realize that that's actually a, a, a gold mine, okay? Like, um, you know, dating with somebody that you, for example, um, consider it as a casual dating and suddenly you realize that that's that's your guy or that's your woman or same thing could happen in term of career the point is that it is that you have already started a thing that is going to be an, 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 an oh my god an, an extraordinary gaining for enterprise for you and you are yet to realize how gaining for that enterprise is now on the minus side though we do have the two of swords here into the second position and that speaks for a lack of a activity it's no different than when you do have the circumstances aligned in such a way that it is you know whatever i mean you are you can settle for it but you shouldn't settle for it and there is a specific individual that stands around you right now which is going to make a pretty good point why you shouldn't stay um, stay out of it or kind of like stay inactive but instead you should undertake the initiative and even if it seems that you don't know what you are doing or it will seem to you that um, you have no clue what you are doing you need to try your chances because there is a huge potential in what you are doing that you are uh, that you are not exploring it okay that you are not taking uh, advantage of it that's uh, I don't know that you are not capitalizing on it, which is the worst part of it. Now, if that's a, a business endeavor, 
then most likely how the thing is going to unfold it is that you are to realize how good you are into something that you had no clue that you can do and that could be a, a new service that you can start selling okay uh, that could be a new narrative that you can expand on into your career and etc etc if that unfolds in terms of love well I already pretty much said it it is that as a of a casual dating that's you put you place nothing behind it no expectations whatsoever suddenly can turn out of to be a remarkable relationship a moving forward and the person who is going to pick point you um what you are missing here really they they are not people that give advice lightly they are very how can i self say a completed in a sense of the they does not concern concern themselves any longer with the life of others in are, are others suffering or not are others a beneficial or not or are others missing things or not just because that person sees what you are about to miss it kind of like wants them to to to, to shriek about it and that's why and imagine if such kind of a person uh, it's it's gouging their eyes out because you are about to miss such a good opportunity imagine how good opportunity that is to be and remember you have already started the endeavor that isn't something that you have to wait out any longer so think about you know what you have started recently uh, that you are not capitalizing on it enough or well you don't you you can't think that you haven't cap that you are not capitalizing on it enough that is yet to be discovered but think of what you have started recently as a business deal for example as a dating like i said and so on and so forth and that will be the thing that actually can move forward needless to say that if you have recently started a personal business you cannot get it better than that but again uh, the week itself will demand a action sitting on one place being hesitant not knowing what to do or worst waiting the things to resolve on their own accord it will be your downfall let alone it may be the uh the loss of opportunity the loss of the uh the enterprise itself i uh, moving forward now the whole enterprise will be also how you can um, um, identify which enterprise that is it is quite a passionate one okay so you feel good you feel optimistic you feel enthusiastic whenever you have to participate into the uh, into the enterprise itself and that is uh, another sign of how you are going to recognize uh, what's the week is all about or what i am talking about because for everybody for every single gemini it will be it will tend to be a, a different thing as the ace of wands just speaks about the enterprise itself not of what nature the enterprise is going to be and at the end we do have the queen of swords as well and uh, that card is kind of peculiar having it into this position that card could manifest as well in many many different ways one of the best ways that it can manifest for you that is the uh, awareness that you actually can push that thing through i mean at the start you were a bit reluctant or a bit hesitant because you know you were inexper uh, inexperienced which is the most negative trait of the ace of wands uh, but now as you getting the hang of it you see that actually it is a walk in the park actually it is a piece of cake and you also are going to understand one more thing that's information is the key okay research and being forewarned is actually the uh, leverage and the advantage that you can have in order to make the um the whole procedure or the whole enterprise being as effortless as possible the other way of manifesting it is actually a person doing it for you okay somebody that uh, is forewarned and it has the necessary information that will uncover you the way or it's going to give you the recipe of success into the enterprise itself just to give you an example how to uh, make that person fall in love with you what that person likes or what that job demands what the job is all about the nature of that thing or another and etc etc and uh, i don't like to speak about health okay but those cards as well could speak that whatever procedures in terms of improving your health health you have recently started it could be a diet diet yoga uh, some kind of a, a medical treatment is going to produce a positive result and the person who actually assigned you the treatment they really know what they are uh, what they are doing 
and uh, as well what they are talking about. Now, the only thing that can actually uh, hurt you throughout the week, it is the, um, again, I said it, reluctancy and hesitation, but also the unwillingness to explore the, uh, the unexplored. For you, that is. Somebody else did it, somebody else know what you are missing, but you haven't yet and you should not be afraid to do it. So, so that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly general tarot reading, or rather like to explore your options available. And uh, hopefully you do enjoy the reading, you, you do liked it, and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.